got to get a little CUSA action here. Protective Stadium. UAB, a five and a half point home favorite over North Texas. And the total sits at 57 and a half. 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. You'll have to watch this one on Stadium. Uh, there's a lot of numbers we can roll with on this one. Kyle, uh, North Texas, 11 and 0 against the number against CUSA competition in their last 11. They are 9 and 2 against the spread in their last 11 road games. UAB, 0 and 4 against the spread in their last four games. UAB won this matchup last year, though, 40 to 6. Now, it was early in the year. Uh, North Texas had a, a bit of a revival afterwards, if you if you want to call it that. North Texas is 1-4 and four straight up and 0-5 oh and five against the spread against UAB in their history. Now, that dates back all the way to 2012, I believe, is the, the first time that they met. Um, this is a, a weird spot. It looks like North Texas is fighting for Seth Luttrell's job. They are playing incredibly well right now. I think we might get Dylan Hopkins back at quarterback for UAB. What, uh, what do you see between these two? Yeah, I mean, North Texas has made it a habit of playing better in the second half of the season. We've heard this Seth Luttrell was on, you know, uh, job watch here late in the season multiple times. And, you know, they play better later in the season, which I do, do think speaks to him being a solid coach overall. I mean, Green have gone on the road, nearly upset UTSA. They should have won that game and then blew out Western Kentucky on the road. So North Texas is very capable going on the road and playing well. My one concern here with North Texas is the run defense, certainly. The run defense, 125th in rushing play, success rate allowed. We know UAB is going to run it early and often in a game like this. Even with that concern, I do like North Texas getting the points here. I think uh, they're clearly on an upward trajectory. And if you look at the schedule played in the Conference USA alone, they're plus 2.11 yards per play margin. UAB has not been nearly as good in yards per play margin inside the conference. Um, UAB's defense has really slipped a lot more than I expected. They're 93rd in yards per carry allowed this year. I think they really missed Bill Clark. He was such a good coach. Uh, Their defense is definitely down quite a bit. UAB 120th in defensive havoc rate among the front seven. So they're not getting in the backfield. Um, I I think North Texas can run the ball too. So I think both teams have success running here. Um, A bit of a question mark. Maybe Hopkins is back. Uh, If it's his first game back, you know, I don't know how – uh, great, I would expect him to do here. I think North Texas is a pretty well-coached team, and and no longer do we have Bill Clark to bet against. If this was Bill Clark, I wouldn't want to bet North Texas, um, being what it is now. I'm going to take uh, North Texas plus the points for some pizza money myself. I like where you're going with this, for sure. Parker, let me get you in here. Uh, you know, we mentioned Hopkins possibly being back. UAB is 0-3 straight up with Zeno playing defense has been the biggest issue though. It's not the offense. Zeno has actually played uh, pretty well, but what has happened to this UAB defense? Uh, You know, Kyle mentioned all these stats, uh, number 95 in success rate allowed in the last five weeks. Uh, I don't know what to make of, you know, number 70 PPA per drive defense over the last five weeks as well, especially when you look at, you know, what North Texas is doing. They're number one in PPA per pass over the last five weeks, number three in PPA per rush. Like, it, it, it kind of looks like two teams trending in different directions here. And granted, the game is going to be in Protective Stadium in Birmingham, but but what do you see going on with these numbers? Yeah, I mean, UAB's defense is 50th in raw EPA per play. Um, and when you adjust that, they're, they're 10th in the group of five, but they're certainly trending downwards. I think there's a lot of pressure on the defense when the offense is missing Hopkins and that kind of duo of Hopkins and McBride isn't as um, effective as it theoretically could be. North Texas definitely trending up. Their offense is now second among G5 teams just in terms of uh, play by play, play by play efficiency. They're 16th overall in the FBS in uh, EPA per pass certainly helps to have a 30 year old playing quarterback, um, against, uh, undergrads, but he's making good decisions and they're, and they're, you know, really, um, efficient in the passing game, despite the fact, so they're, they're, they're 50th in, um, quality possession rate, but they're 126th in starting field position. So I think that UNT is, uh, by any metric is very, very, um, efficient. One thing to look at, they're not as good in the run game, um, overall on the season. 72nd in EPA per rush, 110th in rushing success rate. That's certainly gotten better in the last couple of weeks. But UAB's one big weakness on defense has been the run game. They're 101st in EPA per rush. That's really dragging them down. Teams are rushing against them um, a lot. So we'll see what UNT can kind of cook up there on offense to exploit the run game, especially if UAB feels like they need to devote ex, uh, ex, extra resources towards the pass. I'd be inclined to take UNT in the points. I just can't. I can't 
take UAB with five and a half points, looking at these two resumes and looking how they're trending. When Hopkins and McBride are in stride, I love that UAB offense. I think I think it really works well on paper, but um, I just think there's inherent ceiling on it with with Zeno and getting a guy back in and uh, and back up to speed so quickly. I'm not sure this is the spot for them um, overall. And if you look at it, North Texas defense is not that much worse than their offense, um, 11th in the G5. So I think they'll be pretty competitive here. I, I'd be inclined to do pizza money on North Texas and the points. I'm going to do more than pizza money. I am going to ride with North Texas. I believe in this team. You look again at some of these latest trend kind of stats. UAB defense, again, I'm going to toss another number out here. Number 106 in standard downs PPA at North Texas's offense is number five in that spot. I look for North Texas to stay ahead of the chains. I think they're going to be able yeah, excuse me, they'll be able to move the football here. Give me North Texas plus five and a half. I liked it at six. Uh, I will take it at five and a half as well. I think North, North Texas has a chance to win this game outright, even in Birmingham. Uh, this is a team that they have wanted to get at for quite some time. They have not been able to uh, to cover against UAB. I think they handle it this go round. Uh, just look like two completely different teams right now. Two completely different teams.